What's up, YouTube? My name is Santiago Pacheco, and we're here. Well, I'm here <laughs> to uh, make a, a quick uh, video tutorial on the on the on the sh short solo that's in the song "In Your Eyes" from uh, the weekend. Uh, in the beginning, right here, in the, the first half of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and just play right through it for you uh, advanced players that just need the notes. And uh, on the second half of the video, uh, we're gonna slow it down a bit for for everybody else that needs a little more explanation. Okay. So uh, we're gonna get right back in, right right into it. <laughs> here you go. All right, I'm gonna put the notes right here on the side. Uh, we're gonna start with a with a with a slur from D to uh, C, right? The blue notes are, are are represent the slur, right? That I, I, I noticed that a D sharp in there sounds pretty nice, so so I just quick you know quickly hit that D sharp. And the red notes are, are basically uh, second register notes with the uh, with the register key, right? So they're it's it's basically a, it's the high C, you know, and uh, and you know, it's, it, it basically it means use the register key, right? The red notes. <laughs> so that's the first line, right? Right. Second, I, I hear kind of a, another little quick slur, right? On the second line, it goes out. Uh, That's what I hear. I'm not sure if uh, that's the the other sax that's overdubbed over it or something, right? But I hear a little, right? Now uh, moving on to the third line, uh, it basically does the same the same uh, main melody of the song, basically, right? But he does it a, a little more a little more basic. It sounds like this. the sax like this so you can see what I'm playing right <laughs> but uh, anyways and then it goes into the part uh, that's actually the solo right starts out the same basic basic melody and this is where it changes a little bit where it, it starts uh, it goes into like that, that uh, the blues note right again Then it goes into the altissimo register, which I I uh, illustrate with the with the underlining of the notes, right? So these are on the third register, the altissimo register. Not not all of them, but most of them. You know, well, yeah, they're they're all on the third register. So it goes uh, high high G. Right. Now I'm not a big altissimo note player, right? I can do it. <laughs> But I'm not the greatest, so you know, excuse that. But those are the actual; those are the notes, right? So if you're if you're good at it, well, you know, it's gonna sound prettier than mine. <laughs> but it, it basically does that. Um, uh, let me play the whole thing, the whole you know first part of the solo for you guys, so you can so you can uh, get a good idea of it all together. like a full speed right there right moving on and the the last part is uh starts again with the with the main melody and then it does a quick uh right just a real quick uh you could call it a slur if you want right it goes up and then it just does a little quick scale up It kind of like winds the, the the high G, right? It bends it a little bit, right? So it goes uh, and that's basically it. That's the end of the song, right? It's a quick little lick. Um, honestly, just practicing this little quick lick uh, helped me practice my altissimo notes. So if anything, you know. It's a good way to practice uh, the higher register, you know, the altissimo register. So, anyways, uh, that's basically it. Uh, for you guys that need a little more explanation, uh, I'm going to keep doing this video here. And uh, for everybody else, you know, 
Thanks for watching. <laughs> but uh, for you guys that need more explanation, uh, we're gonna we're gonna break down a little slower. We're gonna do the whole thing again. Um, the the melody, uh, the the beginning again. So it's uh, right. There's a little slur. It's uh, it's just basically a scale with an F natural. Uh, there's a D sharp in there. With, you know, you see the notes right there in blue. It's a real quick slur. Just just start slow if you want. You know. Right? Okay, once you get to the C. Right? C, B, A, D. Okay, second line goes uh Continue right with the you do the basic basic uh, melody. Second line. All right, that's easy enough, right? Continuing with the solo part again, it starts the same. Here it goes up. You can use the the side B flat, right? Or A sharp. I, I write A sharp just because because the way the font is on the computer, right? But it's it's a B flat, which is A sharp. Same same note, <laughs> just spelled differently, right? <laughs> so you bend it a little bit just for effect, right there. You just drop your bottom jaw. Right? B flat, A, G. Right? Now, it go, this is the part where it goes into altissimo. If you can't play altissimo notes, I got some uh, videos out there. Uh, I think they're in Spanish. <laughs> Most of my videos are in Spanish. Uh, maybe I'll do an English one. Uh, but there's a lot of videos out there with altissimo notes. Uh, look for uh, videos about uh, overtones. Start there, you know, uh, developing your overtones, and then uh, that'll move into altissimo notes, which are completely different fingerings, right? So uh, I'm not gonna be able to really go into everything on this video because, you know, that's something that's a whole different skill. But if you can do altissimo notes or you know some altissimo notes, uh, I'm gonna go over them real quick. Uh, the G. It's one and three, and then one and three down here, and the register key, right? Right? Like I said, I'm not an altissimo player, right? <laughs> I do know, I know a couple, a couple, you know, fingerings, but that's about it. But anyways, um, like I said, G, G, and then it goes to a, to a B flat, which is just the register key. This one, you could hold this one down too, and then push those two. Those two bottom ones right there. You know, you hold them right in the middle, you put your finger right in the middle, and it's gonna give you the, the B flat, right? From there, to play the A, you just drop this finger right here, right, the middle finger, boom. This. And then you go to the uh, the, the G again, All right? Which is one three one three, and the register key. And then you go into uh, a, an E. You can play it base the basic E, which is you know these two and the top one right here. Or you could do the fake, or the you know the alternate fingering, which is one two, and then the top one. You know you have this little top one that you never use. <laughs> Right, you go there, and that's the other E. And then D, and then I do, and then when I, on this particular song, I, do, I use the B flat, the alternate B flat, which is right in the middle, right here. 
right not not up here where the other one was but actually right here in the middle there's a little small one you push that one in the B right it's faster than doing now you know but whatever if you want to use this one it's fine right but uh, anyways so that's that's basically that and uh, and then you got just the ending right which is uh, the melody again And then you do a, a quick, a quick little scale up. It's a little faster than the first time that we went. Right? It's a little faster. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da, right? And then that little scale. Right? D, the back D, the E, the alternate E that I showed you earlier. Right, the, the 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 G, the high G, you know, one three one three, and then back to the alternate E, right? So, it's kind of hard to bend that note, you know, the G, but you know, with a little practice, you can do it. Little quick, with a little quick uh, sax lick. Like I said, this is a really good little short, cool little lick to practice your altissimo notes, right? Um, like I said, I don't, I don't do very much altissimo, but this little song actually helped me get a little better. So, uh, so thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit that like. Like I said, I normally do my videos in Spanish, but I don't know, maybe I'll do them in both languages, right? Because, uh, because I can. <laughs> So uh, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.